Welcome to Life History YouTube channel. Here we discuss the biography of famous personality around the world. Today's topic is Viv Richards. He is an Antiguan retired cricketer who played for the West Indies national team. A destructive batsman, he destroyed the opposition's bowling attack completely and played fearlessly without a helmet throughout his career. Some of the records that he set during his playing career stand even today. Viv Richards is considered one of the greatest batsmen of all time and has received numerous honors including being appointed Officer of the Order of the British Empire and Knight of the Order of the National Hero. He was also inducted into ICC Cricket Hall of Fame. Post-retirement, he sometimes works as a cricket commentator and is also the team mentor of Pakistan Super League's team with the Gladiators. Childhood and Early Life of V. Richards Isaac Vivian Alexander Richards was born on 7th March 1952 in St. John's, Antigua. His family included his parents Malcolm and Gretel Richards and three brothers Donald, Marvin and David Richards. His father was a leading fast bowler of Antigua while two of his brothers too played cricket and represented Antigua as amateur. For his education, he went to St. John's Boys Primary School and later attended Antigua Grammar Secondary School on a scholarship. He, thereafter, he left school and joined St. John's Cricket Club. Earlier, he practiced cricket with his father and Pat Evanson, who had formerly captained the Antigua team. While playing at St. John's CC, Viv Richards worked at D. Arthur's bar and restaurant to support himself financially. The owner backed his cricket aspiration and gifted him cricket gears and other accessories when he joined the club. Career of Viv Richards After St. John's CC, Viv Richards joined the Rising Sun Cricket Club and played three seasons with it. In 1972, he made his first-class competitive cricket debut playing for the combined Leeward and Windward Island against Jamaica. His performance at the club and the Antiguan cricket team attracted the attention of Len Creed, vice chairman at Somerset CC, one of the best county teams in England. In 1973, Richard shifted to the United Kingdom and Craig helped him get a contract with the Lansdowne CC during his time there. He also served as an assistant groundsman to meet his expenses. Viv Richards made his Lansdowne debut as a part of the second eleven and was soon elevated to the first team. As the first season concluded, Richards emerged as the topper in the batting average list. His impressive game bought him in two-year contract with the county side Somerset. Viv Richards made his test match debut for the West Indian national team in 1974, playing against India in Bangalore. However, he gave a disappointing first performance. The second test match of the series in New Delhi was where he emerged as the strong player of scored an unbeaten 192 runs. West Indies won the match by an innings and 17 runs. His ODI debut was against Sri Lanka in 1975. Inaugural Cricket World Cup tournament in the final, he played a crucial role in West Indies' win over Australia by pulling off three superb run-outs. In 1976, turned out to be one of the best years for him as he ended up scoring 1,710 runs in 11 test matches with an average of 90. This included 7 centuries and his career best 291 runs against England. His score of 1,710 stood as the world record for most test runs by a batsman in a single year for three decades until it was finally broken by Pakistan Mohammad Yusuf. 
who scored 1,788 runs in 2006. In 1979, West Indies once again lifted the World Cup and Viv Richards yet again played a key role in it. This time playing against England, he scored 138 from just 157 balls, which included 11 fours and 3 sixes. In 1984, Viv Richards was named the captain of the West Indies cricket team. In this role, he continued to lead his team till 1991. During this time, he captained his team in 50 test matches and won 27 of them. All this year, Vip Richards continued to play county cricket for Somerset. In 1983, the team claimed the NatWest Trophy defending Kent County. However, he was not able to devote much time to it due to his international game. Thereafter, he played one season for Riston CC in Lancashire League and later joined Glamorgan County CC in 1990. He played his last international ODI and Test match against England in May and August 1991 respectively. His career statistics including playing 121 Test matches with 8,540 runs and 187 ODI with 6,721 runs. As a bowler, he claimed 32 wickets in test matches and 118 wickets in ODI. During his career, he set many records, some of which still stand today. His 106-run partnership with Michael Holding is the highest individual ODI score when batting at number 4 position. His other records that were later equaled or surpassed include scoring first 1,000 ODI runs. He also became the first player to score a 50 and to take a 5 wicket haul in the same ODI. Post retirement from cricket, he became a commentator on BBC Test Match Special. He published two autobiographies. Hitting Across the Line in 1991 and Sir Vivian, the definitive autobiography. In 2013, he became the mentor of IPL team Delhi Daredevils. Since 2016, he is the mentor and batting coach of PSL team with the Gladiators. Award and Achievements of Sir V. Richards In 1994, V. Richards was awarded an OBE officer at the order of the British Empire. In 2000, Wisden included him in its list of five cricketers of the century and in 2002 named him the greatest ODI batsman and the third greatest test batsman of all time. In 2006, he was appointed the Knight of the Order of the National Hero by Antigua and Bermuda. In 2007, a stadium in Antigua was named after him and in 2010, he was inducted into the ICC Cricket Hall of Fame. Family and Personal Life of Hip Richards Hip Richards is married to Mariam and his two have a son, Mali and a daughter, Matara. For a short period of time, he was also in relationship with Indian actress Nina Gupta and